Sorry, I'm talking to myself, but this is just how it works. I'm trying to tell you what's going on in my head, basically. Right, so um, before we went up earlier, we could have had a look here, but obviously I've been here before, so I knew what I was in for. But you can see the description here. So we did, I think there's actually kind of something missing here. Corners, I could have mentioned that there are some steep corners at the end, like the ones I've conquered today. But um, overall, I kind of agree with this. Um, single track section, small obstacles, root and rock. There was not enough horrible stuff to say that you can't take your brand new, new to riding mate onto it. But it's, it's good to have somebody who's been on that particular trail before so that they can give you a bit of an idea of what to look out for. So that's like basically how I will always ride. And um, I probably would actually go behind on a brand new trail. Um, I like being in front because, well, then I know that nobody's overtaking and I don't get lost basically, right? Now the red one, um, we didn't go on today. Um, definitely you need to be proficient. You need to be okay with your brakes. You need to know where your gears are. You need to be able to climb. You need to be able to go down stuff that doesn't feel good. Um, yeah, and you need to have a bike that actually is going to do some work for you. And if you don't have one, save for one, finance yourself one, borrow one from the shop. And don't expect them to have the right bike for you on the day, um, just because you feel you want to waltz in. Yeah. So ring them up beforehand, plan your visit and tell them how tall you are and what kind of bike you're looking for so that they actually have something and you don't turn up and don't get a bike. Right, so plan, if you are borrowing, plan it ahead. Um, you're definitely not going to enjoy riding a red trail with the kind of bike you would ride in town. Yeah, so I would not, I, I'm not actually, even not for YouTube to have fun, will I go on a shit bike to ride on something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the actual trail map. Now, I think they are a bit, how do you say, suggestive. They're not particularly helpful. Um, you can see basically what's available. For me, I still don't know where exactly my cool flow trail thing is. We have an idea. We think it's somewhere here. Um, the thing is called Jubilee Trail, but actually whilst you're out there, it doesn't actually say that anywhere. So it is no good knowing what it's called. He says yes. Yeah, it says so twice. I didn't see anything, anyway. Um, you did see on the trail that actually sometimes the blue arrow looks black. So double check your colors and if you're colorblind, oh my god, good luck to you. Um, <laughs> now, at the end you know, I've told you and I've shown you that the red and the blue go together. So basically it's not blue, it's red. Easy red maybe, but well, it <laughs> depends what you consider easy, right? So. Take all the gradings with a pinch of salt, but take the black grading serious. Black is black. It's nasty. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll take you on the red route another time when I'm fresh and yeah. Right. We're going to start on the green trail and we're going to go to the skills area to have a look if we can um, well, warm up basically before we go and do maybe blue. It's a bit warm today, so I'm not gonna kill myself. Let's see what we can do. Show you a green trail. So you can see green trails kind of just basically a wide path that can be used by vehicles, uh, usually forest roads, which will be used during, well, when they harvest the wood when they take down the trees. So you need to keep an eye on, on working days, I expect. So when you go ride this kind of stuff, then you can look for opportunities. Um, sometimes there are like little I don't know, little lumps on the side or a little mini berm that somebody kind of created and you can then practice your little mini skills there and jump over the pile of shite that we've just gone past. I 
Now you could use that tree there to do some stuff with, like an up and over, or just straight through, and then you've got it all stuck in your gears. If you feel like you're too slow and everything's hard work, maybe you need to check your brakes. I've actually done a ride on my brakes before. I was a person at the back. It was really hard work and nobody understood why I was so slow. Well, happened to be a seized brake, so that was lovely. Right, so we're going to do this disgusting climb that basically put me off for mountain biking quite a bit. You need the right gear, you need your saddle up. Oh, my saddle feels like it's not up, but it is. So you can see that while well, it's loose, gravelly bit, it's dry today, which means it's like, well, being on ice, basically. I'm not trying to scare you, it's just not very nice. I tell you what the best bit is. Nice, hard, compacted clay that is not dry and dusty, but not sogging wet. That's my favorite. So anyway, so it's here. It's hard work if you're not fit. Well, and remember, fitness is not transferable. Here comes the first tacky corner. If you've never ridden a bike around the corner, you might struggle if you don't have the right gear. Okay, now that didn't feel so bad, but I'm pretty sure on my first ride out it was awful. Because basically I rode up here with my sister, my then, don't know if we were married, boyfriend, husband, and the other half of my sister, another shitty corner. Look at that. Now you need to really get around that. If you're not confident going around tight corners, it's not nice. Yeah, so we went up here. It was a warm day. And after going up, we looked for the earliest opportunity to get onto a green trail. So we basically did the green trail where we were earlier, but we did the whole loop. Just go through the valley, mainly a half forest and then half open sky kind of thing. So there's another nice switchback corner thingy and maybe this is where I got stuck, I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit tighter than the last one. You need to not feel jittery and wobbly when you go up uh, around those kind of things. If you've got jelly legs because you were distressed or you're scared, it's not nice. So here I have to switch down gears a lot. So it's really hard to get the right gears when they do this, when you're not used to it and you don't know where you're going so here we need to go across are we going red or blue it's, it's still the same. the same oh no look see now you don't know where you're going then you slow down you lose momentum now we're going to go straight on because we're going blue so here you can see the ground is a little bit nicer and it's still climbing and then it's another nice corner with some loose stuff Oh God, I can't get around. You can see everybody's going on the edge. I'm slowing down, getting stuck. So that was all seated. We haven't stand, stood up yet. And yeah, if you can get up this when it's your first time, good on you. Because yeah, it's not easy. So all the loose stuff, look there. So loose stuff, you wanna, don't want to go over it because it makes you ping off. But you have to go over it because there's no option. Here's roots, so a bit of texture underfoot, which makes things interesting and challenging. You're right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. So always try to be friendly, especially if you geared up, because you might look a bit, well, basically, intimidating and scary. I feel intimidated and scared by people in full kit, and because they always look like they're rad, and they think they've got it all together, and maybe they don't, but, you know, appearances. So if you look intimidating, 
you need to be extra friendly and I do look intimidating so I have to be extra friendly we're going blue route so we need to get around the corner oh! I'm sitting down by the way I've got my saddle down because I was attempting to stop but I've changed my mind you saw probably the exit or uh, exit entrance for the red trail so we could have gone there but I wanted to show you what happens on a blue trail what kind of variety so we're now on a forest escape route which usually is the fastest way to get back to base if you need to it helps if you have a map or at least an idea of where you are in the place that you are at because your phone stuff doesn't always work okay so be prepared to potentially struggle getting back if you want to get back desperately keep a mental note of options of routes as you're going so you could potentially backtrack if you need to i can't wait to get back into the trees it's too bloody warm i was going to say i used to be a sunny weather rider now in the meantime i've become a winter rain and night cold rider because it's easier to dress up warm and then you've got the trail for yourself as well now i've got a top tip for you the top tip is don't do a leg day or body pump the day before you go mountain biking even if you go easy because if your legs are all tired and they are ready for a rest day you're gonna have a shit time basically now i learned this by accident but to be honest i knew it but i didn't have a choice because my job is teaching fitness classes yeah so the lockdown has actually done me a favor by taking away all the classes that were basically pissing off my body so I found out what it feels like to go mountain biking without having body pump and body combat and fab abs and 20 million yoga classes beforehand and I tell you it feels different so you need to check how you schedule your workout under the week if you have certain days that you want to go riding <laughs> so it's sometimes you get a bit excited you think oh it's going down and then it's not so in the olden days i actually rode um just a normal seat post with a quick release thing and every time we were climbing we had the saddle up and at the top of the run we'd stop put the saddle down to like a place where you can get over stuff but you can also still pedal up something if you need to so it was a bit of a compromise and I'm sure I would have had a better time if well hydraulic seat levers had been popular back then but that's well over 10 years ago 12 years ago and longer so yeah thanks for inventing movable seat posts if you want to invest something in something that is going to make your riding more enjoyable get a seat post watch out they're not easy to pick not because of money or which brand but the height you don't want to end up with one that is too high because then you're going to be in the same situation as before so a nice little i would say you could probably call it a single track it's a wide single track they're skinnier versions and sometimes they're a bit gross because they usually quite close to the edge of something where you kind of think what and there's no fence it's not nice Woo! yay so yeah definitely this is where mountain biking starts on this kind of rumbly stuff a bit windy not too crazy no jumps jumping is not part of mountain biking well not for me anyway 
it's just something that people have added on because they got bored I think and maybe they didn't want to do the fitness thing it's like dancing right you can just dance or you can take it to an extreme so it's your choice where you want to take it once you've started and you might change your mind and that's okay and if I change my mind that's okay too but if you don't want to jump stay on the ground it's fine blue trails you'll be sitting a lot more and so you potentially might need padded shorts or saddle cover or whatever you need to work out to get yourself comfy it's kind of personal can't really take anybody's advice because they might like it you don't I used to ride padded shorts just don't like the feeling on my ass <laughs> I'm missing something that's fun. Hopefully we'll get to that little flow trail. And that's what you're basically earning on the way up. I call these hard work sections cake sections. Basically earn your cake. Right, so we're coming up to way marker. So this is best what it looks like sometimes. They tell you where the escape route is, which would be helpful, like if you wanted to go home now. But I can't tell you because I'm following the signs and there's no sign telling me where I can go home. We're going blue, so we're going this way. Nice, so here we go. Right, so we're coming up to the flow trail well earned it was a long way i didn't bother you with my long way so we're gonna get the right gear so i'm gonna go up a couple of gears because we are going uphill put my saddle down i'm gonna do a really cool turn with my knee out i'm still sitting i'm still turning cool check me out man <laughs> so i'll get another gear on and we're gonna see what this trail is like today last time i did it it was really nice pump it pump it corner with gravel take the outside edge where well, there's no gravel and then try to get a bit of oomph in there tilt outside foot down fairly flat corner outside foot down little hump now here you can just go level 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 turn nice okay so outside foot down corner for me up and hump up and hump outside foot down pump 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 outside foot down shit i'm breaking i've done that last time when i got here i remember that nice place for learning to do corners oh there was a bit of broken away trail not nice shit happens so you need to be basically prepared for all sorts i'm not looking far enough ahead i never get it right either i look too close or too far take the rumble road much nicer than through the shutter um, I think you call that shippings or whatever. Anyway, there's my little bit of German. Oh, nice little stone. Another corner. Woo, corner. Woo. These are foot swing corners. I don't know if that's an official term, probably not. I call them like that. Now, too much loose stuff for my flavor. Getting a bit khaki here. I mean, I am khaking myself. Being a wussy. Oh, this one looks nice. I'm gonna do this one properly. And this one looks nice too. So let's do that one properly. Let's do this one properly. Ah, oh, sometimes, you know, you get more chances than one, which is cool. This one's nice, long one. Inside arm down. Oh, too much on the sloppy cack. Oh, well, we're definitely gonna ride back up to the top and do that again. Because now I know what's happening. I can enjoy it more and see if it feels better the second time so you've got two options you can go down the rumble road ah, yeah that's when somebody's too close behind you and they do a sharp break and it sounds like they're running you over okay saddle up time what's the next bit more fire road ah, i've had enough of fire roads you know uh, actually i'm one of those freaks 
who can't decide what they want. So, like, I don't like hard or scary, but I don't like boring. Mm. So I'm just needing to turn around because we are at the entrance of the next section and I just can't do it. Try again. Maybe I can do left. I'm shit at right. So try left side, left side, left side, left. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Oh my God, that was giving birth, man. Giving birth to a corner. Yeah, so anyway, forest roads are good for practicing tight corners. <sighs> So here we go. Let's see what happens on here. Oh, there's a little corner. Oh, sorry for the sound effect. Anybody who comes to my classes knows that I do sound effects. I, 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 I go over the top, top bit. Woo, I didn't know that was coming. That's actually quite cool. Oh no, shit, 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 shit. So that's what happens when you're behind me. Hump. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. Oh no, now I've missed it all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Flat foot. Oh, oh no! Oh fuck. No! Okay, now, okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to talk to you about this. Right, humans, on the other side of this camera. This is, I need to get off the trail, wait a minute. Okay, right, I wanna tell you something about what's happening here. Like, look ahead, there are two signs, and they're both red and blue. Okay, this corner that we've just done is not a blue, blue corner. It's a cat corner, a corner that I don't like. And you can also see here, there's another bit down. Don't know what that is. it down? Is it up? Is it up? It's up. It's up. Well, yeah, it's shit anyway, you can see. Now, so we're coming up to the end of the trail. So if you had done the big red loop, you would come out at the same as what we've just done, the little flow bit. And then you come down this way. There's some nice bits here, but there's also some really cack, really big corners, and there's a mossy corner and I hate it. So we're going to have a really nice drama time now together. You can basically um, see me fail, probably. Um, and that's not me being negative. It's just last time I did this, I had to push pretty much all of it because I'm a wussy cat after all. So let's get everything down, saddle down, feet organized. Let's get comfy and see, get the fly out of the goggles. Okay, let's take it easy and see if we can at least do some of this so we don't go home crying. A little ditch. Try not to avoid the ditches so you get a bit comfortable with, you know, when you go through like a pothole. The first time I realized my husband persuading me for my first full suspension bike. I didn't want one. I was like, what's the point? When I went through like a potholy kind of thing on some grass path, and oh my God, it was so nice. I didn't even notice. But it was because my suspension did it for me. <laughs> if somebody persuades you to go on the red route for your first ride, tell them to get lost. I also think that doing shorter routes is a good idea because if you get fed up or you're tired or you've had na, you hurt yourself at least then it's not that far back. But you know when you're ready to go on the crappy bits, it's when you get bored of going smooth, basically. Right, so this is lovely, nice exit, and it's narrow, and when you're new, you're scared that you're gonna get caught on it. Right, let's have a break here. Right, so next section then, eh? So we've given some other people a head start. Well, basically, we've taken a break.
Now, the secret to not having achy bum is take trails where you don't have to pedal so much. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. I think somebody behind me might be bored now because I'm riding like a granny. Anyway, up to me how I ride. Oh, bollocks. Okay, there you go. Now, let's have a look. I've just picked up a stick. Right, that kind of shit happens and you must stop soon. Otherwise, you're going to break everything. There you go. Down, downhill, downhill, with our jumps, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we need to slow down because there's the exit and it's always narrow. It's on narrow on purpose to stop you from racing through it in case somebody else is in the way. So, right, let's go into the next section. Not too light, not too hard. Okay, I think this one is, ah yeah, it's got sandy. Sunday technical climbs um, with, yeah, I remember, it's not all great. So let's see what we can get done. Just gonna have to deal with it as it comes, right? Okay, there's a rut, just let the bike do the rut. You need to let go when it gets a little bit shite off the brake if you can, or very, very light, because otherwise the bike misbehaves. Here comes the beastie climb with the sand. I promised you sand, there is sand. It's like going to the beach. See if we can get up this today. Okay, I'm gonna go not in the channel because I don't want an extra effort. Okay, let's do it. Around the corner. Messi, do you wanna go first? Okay, just it spoils it for you if I'm going slow, I know. All right. So I've done one good bit. Need to get around this corner. Chit, 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 chit. That sun's really not making easy. Okay. So here, mainly to do with gears, bit of brute force in the legs. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Now my legs are a little bit tanked. Hi, good job we've got a bit of nothing. Let's have a breather break. I'll see you in a minute. Watch out! Stones! Root! 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 Wow, I'm not breaking, I can't believe it! I'm crazy! That's really good for me because normally I'm on the brakes the whole way. I'm impressed! Well done, you! Check it out! Yes, I know I'm going in a straight line, but you know what? Even going fast in a straight line is scary. I've seen people coming up in a straight line. It's not difficult. Woo! Need to stop somewhere in a minute. Yeah, don't stop in the middle of the trail. It's so tempting. Just remind yourself every time when you stop somewhere, you might be the person who's coming. So, yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter if you stop on the trail, just, you know, as soon as you realize that you're being a shit, get off it, basically. Happens to everybody, all the time. So here's the exit, and it says straight on. I remember there's more interesting stuff coming. So let's have a mini break. See you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. GoPro doesn't like swap, uh, switching on for me, but like switching off for me, really funny. So let's have a look what's next. 
Okay, so this is basically a little bit fun moment, a little bit of respite. Oh no! Are we going this way? Yeah. Uh, that was a red arrow. Yeah, it's all the same. Are you sure? sure? Are you lying? I don't know. This is what they do to you, basically, yeah? They, first there was obviously two colors, right? You saw that. And then there was only one color. Now, I think it was basically trying to say, it's a bit harder than blue, but we haven't got a different way for you. So tough shit for you, basically. Anyway. This is what happens. You take a turning and you then think, oh, was it the right one? And the person behind you is experienced says, it's fine, you'll be fine, just do it. Stupid saying, just do it, man. What a shit. Blue or red, blue or red, we're gonna go blue and it's gonna be probably horrible. So it's corners. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see if we can do it today. We're on the corner. Wow, I did it. Did you see it? It was really bad, but I did it. <laughs> Goodness me. I'm not using the right technique, I don't think. It's working though. Shit. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, this is not the one I like. I don't like this one. Oh my God. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my God. Okay. Oh no, sand. Let go of the brake on the sand, man. Um, Jesus, did I just do it? Oh. Whoa! Don't worry about it, just do it. Just do it. Not flaming Catman. But that's also thanks to all my corner practice. I mean, like, literally, I've been basically focusing on it for so long now. Mainly all different stuff. And that's why I'm now not cacking myself all the way but normally i would sh push down all of that literally but like i'm a corner pusher are we done now oh there's another corner lovely wide wide go wide shit don't break wide oh yeah i just did it did you see that whoa i think i've earned an ice cream or two or three well, watch out now, the horrible corners that I pushed last time. Oh, bollocks. Right, stay over the front wheel. Don't reach your ass back. It doesn't work. You've tried it before. Sorry, I'm talking to myself, but this is just how it works. I'm trying to tell you what's going on in my head, basically. Okay, what's next? Get over that hump. Oh, that's a mossy corner. I pushed that one and I fell. Actually, no, I fell off last time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, yeah. All right, let's stop here. Now, let's have a look at this. I'm just gonna put my back to the side. Right, last time in this corner, I call it the mossy corner. You can see there's moss in there. When I came out, well, I came down and round. I hadn't done any of the other corners, by the way. <laughs> I rode straight up the bank. Basically, I rode straight on. And obviously that doesn't work. And I fell over into the corner, got trapped under my bike, a massive wussy tantrum. Then I sat here on the side, on there, on the side, having a pissy tantrum and being really annoyed and upset, saying that I'm never gonna go mountain biking again. Now we're right at the end, we're gonna come out at the skills area where we practiced earlier. And I'm really glad we did do the skills beforehand. Uh, if there was a push up, I would go back and do those corners again. But now I can take a mental note and say, I can do it next time. You know what? This is the first time and you've been witnessing my cornering. The first time ever that I've ridden those corners ever. I normally don't ride any of them literally. So that means if you keep practicing, things are going to get better. Don't practice wrong, of course, or dumb shit, but with a bit of like maybe a coach, I had a couple of sessions last year. Obviously my husband is always keen to help me and tell me what not to do, which doesn't generally help. Oh, lovely corner here. And now it's this gravel path. This is a channel of doom for babies. Um, so basically, if you go into this loose stuff, you can't break, because if you break, it goes shit. So I'm pushing my heels down really hard. I'm pushing my hips back because they're slowing down. I'm trying to slow down 
I'm not breaking very hard because I don't want to scare. Now let's get through that gate. Oh Jesus. Now, the hardest bit was going down the hill actually today. <laughs> so nice work. Well done. Thanks for watching.